Shift F10, Alt Tab doesn't work, Windows Tab doesn't work. It's pretty kiosk mode level locked down. This time it's not a disassembly. This time this thing has a pretty interesting computer locking thing. Any of you computer technicians out there who remember the good old days of SysKey, <clears throat> which was eventually removed at some point in Windows 10, I believe, the uh, scammers that would get on people's computers remotely could lock those people out of their computers by encrypting the registry hive on the computer and requiring a password to continue booting. So <clears throat> that's kind of where we are now. Um, <laughs> there's no syskey, but this computer is still locked with a password to boot, even in safe mode. So John, well, I don't know John's password or if John has a password, but he's certainly locked out of his computer. So I'm just going to force it to turn off and back on and show you this bug before we go in and fix it. Come on. There's Windows. There's the welcome screen. Uh, did you see it log in with a saved credential? <clears throat> That's interesting, isn't it? So here's this bug locking this computer. I'm moving the touchpad and I can't move the touchpad. If I click, I get nothing. If I hit enter, well, this computer has been locked. To unlock computer, you must enter the correct password. Cancel. All right, and if I type the wrong password, it just gives up. So, what can we do? Alt F4? No. Shift F10, Alt Tab doesn't work, Windows Tab doesn't work. It's pretty kiosk mode level locked down. Now, we can do, Control Shift Escape, by the way, also doesn't work. Control Alt Delete does work. So what can we do here? Tab, now look, it's still bounding. This is what gets me, it's still bounding the cursor. Uh, and now it's not. Interesting. Task Manager. So I clicked Task Manager. If I do somehow manage to get Task Manager to appear, it will just minimize and be unusable. So yeah, this thing won't let you run Task Manager. If you sign out or try to shut down, it tries to prevent you from signing out or shutting down. So what happens at the welcome screen? John has a saved credential. I don't know what it is, but the saved credential is used to log him in. So we're pretty much locked out. There's nothing we can do. If I go into safe mode, the same thing happens. So even safe mode with command prompt just can't get in. So what we're going to have to do is take things into our own hands here. I'm going to restart the computer this time. But, see the cute little bunny? It's going into the computer. I'm going to boot into a Linux-based system called the TriTech Service System that I use to fix this kind of stuff. I'm also going to try to stop moving the computer itself. Let's do a boot device list. Come on now. There it is. Boot. Always a problem. It works from a CD, but it does this whenever you try to boot the visual menu from a USB drive for whatever reason. I'm in the TriTech service system. What does this say? We have a hard drive here, SDB2. All right. We may have to check several hives for weird stuff. So this is the location of the registry, and I'm going to use my WinRegFS tool, which can sometimes be dangerous. So actually, let me uh, let 
Let me make some copies of these Windows registry files just to be sure that everything is okay. Eh. And I'm going to go ahead due to this uh, due to this password issue and use the NT password changer to blank his password. Let me just yeah change NT password interactive Sam. Edit user data 0x3e9 is John. Four to enable 0x3e9 again. Four to one to blank dot to list users. John admin blank exclamation Q yes right hive files now mount dot win regfs actually I need to poke around in system first and I might need to look some stuff up because I don't remember I don't remember Ah, here we go. Alternate shell is CMD, so that is not doing it. So they haven't hijacked the alternate shell. They haven't hijacked auto check. Mm. Ah, there's no way for me to go through all those services right now. But I don't think the problem is going to be in here. It's interesting to look around just a bit and All right, I don't think we're gonna find what we need in the system hive oh, It's taking a second Come on. Ah, I know what I did wrong. There we go. Now we'll look through the software hive. It's not there. Microsoft Windows current version. Oh, look at that. What, is that security health for real? Yeah, it looks like it is. All right. What do we have here? Do we have anything that might let them hijack some stuff? I don't think so. All right, it's been a little bit since I've had to root around in here. But I'll tell you what, let's do some more basic stuff so I can maybe find out what's really going on here. Ooh, what's under found.001? Nothing of interest. Yeah, that's garbage. <clears throat> so what do we have here? Windows. Yep, don't know that we have anything there. Could be something under temp. So I'm going to go ahead and nuke everything under temp. Wait. Normally they like to run this stuff as a user space program. Oh man, System32 has a lot of stuff in it. And it's excruciatingly slow. Lots of compressed files, and we switch terminals long enough to make it go faster. Okay. So I don't think it's there. I think it's probably in, in the user account itself. Yeah. 
Now let's clean the temp folder while we're at it. Yeah, I don't know exactly what that is. ASCII, huh? Hmm. Okay, that's useless. It's probably not the issue. So let's go ahead and clean out the folder. <clears throat> it doesn't hurt to go ahead and clean out the folder after all. Hmm, what is this? Interesting. Lock my PC free edition. Interesting. So it's an actually a program called Lock My PC. Removing Team Viewer just in case. This is one of the things that I try to tell people. They will use legitimate tools to infect your computer. So that looked like it's actually a legitimate tool. But we've cleared the user password. And we've also cleared lock my PC4 off of the computer. Now we have to just reboot and see what happens. Moment of truth, boys. Moment of truth. What do we have? Please wait. The auto logging credentials are no longer valid, but there's also no password. So that should not be an issue. It will still auto log in because there's no password. Oh look, a desktop, a normal desktop. So apparently this lock my PC program is a legitimate program. Let's do a little bit of sleuthing. Do I still have auto runs on here? No, no, it looks like I don't have that on here. Actually, let me, uh, let me put in my flash drive one more time. Oh look, command prompts. Tons of command prompts. Was it D? Yeah. Force tools, install tools. Wait for a billion years. Come on, hurry up. <clears throat> okay. Now, nah, oh wait. Don't need that. Okay. Pick 3264 and then delete pick 3264. And now we can do auto runs and see what we get. <clears throat> Flash drive, come out. So, what do we have here? Well, we have a no longer exists. I don't know if you can tell, but this guy's picked up his share of nasties in the past. Google Drive no longer exists. They now call it Drive File Stream or something. 
uh, 5k player probably doesn't need to be running when the computer starts. But let's see if we can find that insidious login nonsense that was causing the problem. So, lock my PC service. That would be it. I went too far up. Let's say no to that. Alright, so lock my PC service. Go. Team viewer needs to go. Maybe low level drivers associated with one or both. Well, that doesn't exist anymore. But yeah, I don't think there's anything else in particular. But I am making one more pass, just to be sure. Ultra VNC is on there because I put it on there. So that's not malicious. Okay, uh, Java, are you kidding me? Why the hell is it on here? Whatever. I'm going to close that. So we figured it out. It was the program. The scammer got on there. Now, let's do just a little bit more. We have professional. Cleaner dot dat. That's BS. Winapp 2. See, these are. These are very interesting, aren't they? So these are CCleaner definitions. What is this branding DLL in here for, I wonder? Hmm. I'm not going to worry too much about that. Let's see if the scumbag... Sure, you can't. I wonder if the scumbag put something on here there's Team Viewer. Let's get rid of it um, to try and get him to go back to them. I don't want to go through the user's documents on camera, so hang on just a second, all right? This thing should be clean, but let's just do really quickly. Let's make one look, see if we can get rid of the entries from my PC and Team Viewer. It is interesting how effective lock my PC was and the real fun of it all is that uh, lock my PC is probably a legitimate pro used illegitimately used for a nefarious purpose so lock my PC <laughs> you have no protection against that. virus scanning tools or whatever because it's a real legitimate program installed it with someone who locked you out of So there you go. Bug turns out to be a mundane program no virus scanner will ever pick up that locked the computer completely away from the user's time. Ah, what fun. Hope this was educational. Take care.